Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my August favourites. So I haven't done a favourites in a long time. I always say this every time I do a favourites, just because I like to use the products that I, I always use and um, I don't really experiment or try with other products until I'm sort of bored of one product in, in, in particular. So I have been trying out different products and um, there are six six items and there are five beauty items and one non-beauty item. So I'm gonna start with the beauty items now. The first one is a makeup palette by Makeup Revolution and it is the Iconic Pro 2 palette, which is sort of, is it similar to Laura? Is it similar to L'Oreal Pro eyeshadows I think, I'm not totally sure, I think it is them but they are a dupe for an eyeshadow palette in the US um, so I think it is definitely L'Oreal Pro so this is what the palette looks like, I'm trying not to blind you so basically they are all neutral colours and they're quite dark colours along here um, basically the top row here, this one here they are all shimmer colours, so um, yes, they can be used on the lid. And then the bottom row here, they are all mattes. So you know there there is a good variation of shimmers and mattes. You know for anybody, and you can create a daytime look or a nighttime look. They are really pigmented, and um, I have been trialing these out for a good week or so, literally every day. And I have actually got an eye look on now because I do want to do a makeup tutorial with this palette at some point. So I, I have been trying out different makeup looks and different colours and combinations to try and see which is the best and which the one I actually like. Um, I have about four or five different looks, but I need to choose one from there. But yeah, this is about six, eight pound or something like that. Fantastic, it's brilliant. Um, it's very pigmented, especially the matte colours are very pigmented. I find the shimmer colours are a bit less pigmented, but definitely overall the quality is amazing for the price. So I've really been loving that. As you can see, there are so many different colours. Um, to suit anyone, you can do simple um, daytime look or anything like that. So I'm really happy with that. The next one is a foundation and it is by L'Oreal and it's the Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. A lot of people have been loving this, I can see why, just because it's a fantastic foundation. Um, it's so brilliant. Um, I think it's definitely my number one foundation now. Um, I probably will be using this for a while and I, I am in 11 vanilla. Just because I'm a bit more tanned than usual, I do have the lightest one, just porcelain I think. Um, so I do have the lighter one for the winter, um, but this is fantastic. I have been using this for about a month or two now and it is just brilliant. If you see my first impressions of this video, of this foundation, then you will see why I like it. It does cover really well. Um, it is a sort of medium to full coverage. You can build up without it caking. Um, it's definitely matte. Um, I feel it is very matte. I still need a powder, but it's matte. It stays put all day. I literally mean all day. Um, I could be, you know, I could apply it at, for example, seven o'clock in the morning, and it's still there at ten o'clock at night. It's really good foundation for staying power. It has been really hot in this country for the past month or so, and. Um, it's lasted really well during that. They do have like a chart on the back which shows you um, the texture is medium, coverage is high as they say, finish is matte. So I like that how they give you a sort of a, a little list, I like that. Um, yes it's really good i like it it's about and it's under 10 pounds and it's brilliant you do not need an awful lot because it's so pigmented um it lasts all day i do need to touch up here and there but that's only because i've got oily skin and um, this is for oily skin by the way if you've got dry skin they do have the infallible foundation uh, for dry skin but this is for oily combo skin so i really like this Next one is a concealer, well it's an illuminating concealer and it's the Collection Illuminating Touch 
brightening character basically the writing is coming off which is annoying that is a problem with all um, collection concealers especially a last imperfection one they for some reason the writing just disappears after a few uses which is annoying um, but anyway the packaging is like a screw top so it's like a little pen and it comes out with this little brush here and I just apply it under my eyes of here to try and brighten it up and it's very pigmented what I just say you do not need an awful lot and I think it definitely does um, brighten the eye area up um, an awful lot sorry I've got a cold so I'm finding it very hard to breathe at the moment um, so yes yeah, so it's a really good one it does last um, probably till midday then I have to reapply it but it's very good I love it been using it for a month so I mean I'm in love with it next one is a bronzer from the Barry M range and it's a Barry M afterglow light bronzer they do have a dark deep dark bronzer I think of this one but this is a light one since I'm very pale so this bronzer has um has like a sun sort of imprinted on there I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not because it's starting to fade away it looks like it's just an overlay or whatever you call it um, as, as I've been using it obviously the product's been going away from the pan and you can actually see the pattern starting to go so it's just an overlay or whatever you call it um, it is a brown with shimmer so it does contain shimmer but it's not an awful lot it's not like it, it is, it's not very noticeable on the skin um, it's just a subtle glow I suppose makes you more sort of glowy and real I suppose more bronzed um, so yes I'll be really liking that and it's really big you see that's my palm it's nearly as big as my palm which is amazing you get a lot of product in this I don't know how much you get you get 15 grams of product and it's under five pounds I think or something like that and you can get Barry M in Superdrug Boots um, and I think Asda I think and Tesco I'm not totally sure but yes it's really good I love this it's really pigmented and I just put this everywhere basically put it on my cheeks my forehead my chin my nose just try and make me look a bit more bronzed and um, glowy and it's really nice really pigmented love it the next one is by MUA and it's a whipped velvet blush this is in GG so this is a coral peach colour um, don't be able to see it very well because I've tried to take pictures of these and it's really hard to take pictures with these but anyway it's a cream blush so rather than applying it with my fingers I apply it with a sort of a duo fibre brush by Stigma um, and I've really been liking that I sort of dip the brush into the um, blush and then I sort of dab it onto my cheeks area I've got it on today do you be able to see it or not but um, I've been loving this for the summer because it's such a peachy coral shade and it's perfect for the summer and it does last really well and it's really pigmented um, doesn't smell of anything um, but yes I do have their other shades but I've just been sticking to this one because I just love it so much um, yes the only problem with cream products is that it gets really messy and dirty especially when you have a dog and dog hair gets everywhere so there is a few hairs in there which I can't really get out without destroying the product so I'm just left with a manky looking product but hey you know it still works okay and this is about three pounds I think from MUA and um, yes it's really nice there's no shimmer in it it is matte colour um, which I've been liking recently and I just really 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 love this um, it just lasts for nearly all day I think you might have to touch up throughout the day but it just definitely does last for a while and the last product is a non-beauty item or product and um, it's my Kindle I recently went on holiday about a month ago and I was reading my Kindle non-stop I go through phases where I read books uh, especially on holiday because I'm away from the house away from work I've got time to read um, nowadays when I'm at home because I've got a house as well um, I don't really have time to read but I've just been loving my Kindle recently um, I can't really show you anything because I need to charge it up um, but anyway I've been loving the Rose Gardner series by I think it's Denise Swank I think 
Um, I've been really loving that and the Rose Gardener series is like a mystery sort of thing and I've been really 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 loving it. Um, I've been reading other books but I just love my Kindle, I can take it anywhere with me. It's, I do miss a good book, you know, I miss the feel of a good book and the smell of a book but really this is better because I can travel around with it, um, it won't get damaged or bent or anything and I can saw hundreds of books on here. It's just brilliant, I love it. So yes, they are my August favourites. If you've got any questions on any products mentioned, um, please just let me know below or inbox me or whatever. So yes, please come right and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.